Hey kids, welcome to Unifor Lesson 1, the theater exercise number four. We have another choose your own adventure. Exercise three was how do we manipulate and move images around? Exercise four is how do we manipulate and move shapes around? For this one, I think I'm going to draw the house. Honestly, all of these have pretty similar solutions. If you're struggling with B kids, how do you get the mouth? That is an ellipse, and then they put a square on top of it. That's how you get the mouth. Let's go ahead and jump into C. We're going to draw our house scene. Write the method and create scene to draw shapes to create a house. We're going to use the draw rectangle. They give us the parameters here, x, y, width, and height. And they wanted it to position 100, 150 with a width of 200 and a height of 200. Then we're going to draw our own shape. They gave us some coordinates they want us to use. You can also use the draw triangle method here if you would like. Then we're going to use the draw rectangle method here to draw the door. And finally, we're going to use the draw rectangle again to draw the window. When we're all done, we're going to call our scene and draw it out. And we have a set fill and remove stroke color. Then in my theater, we're going to draw the scene object, call the create scene method in the draw scene object, and then use the theater play scene method. We should end up with this image when we're all said and done. Kids, this one's real easy. Oh, they literally gave us everything we have to do. Let's just go take it one by one. As you can see, there isn't much code to look at here, so let's just jump into it. Number one, draw a rectangle. They have us going to draw scene. Under create scene, we're going to call the draw rectangle method. So draw rectangle. And inside they want the position to be 100 by 150. That is the X and Y, so that's 100 by 150. Then the width and height, they want 200 by 200. So we're going to go 200 by 200. Before we get too crazy, let's jump over to my theater, get our objects to actually print off one at a time. Let's go to my theater. We have to do these three things to get it to print off. First is instantiate a drawing scene object. So we're going to go drawing scene. We'll call it my scene. And that is equal to a new drawing scene. And we're not passing anything along. Next, we have to call the create scene method. We're going to call it from my scene object we created. And we're going to call the create scene method. Finally, we have to do this theater play scene method. So theater play scenes. And what scenes do we want to play? Well, we want to play my scene. Now when I hit run, I should get a box to pop up. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. I do, but my object's black. We can go and fix that right there. And if you remember, we have our set fill and remove stroke color. Set fill color. And let's set that to yellow. Let's hit run again. Well, there's the base of our house. Let's do number two. Now we're going to do our draw shape. And that one has a bunch of points to use, and then we're going to close it. So in this one, you give it a bunch of different coordinates to go to. When you're done giving it coordinates, you're going to close it. Coordinates they want to use here. Let's just copy these kids. I know I'm going to get them wrong if I don't. Paste that over. Those are my coordinates. Then we have to paste true to close it. If I remember, 
I have to give it a color for the roof. Let's go set fill color. Let's make this one brown. Let's hit run and see if we get a roof. Oh, I misunderstood this. I have to create an array for those points to go into. Let's go int points, and that is going to be equal to, and then let's copy our points over here. And now we just want to call our points array. Let's see if that works. There we go. So I misunderstood what happened there. We have to look at the parameters being called. It was calling for an array, then a Boolean, just two points, not a bunch. So I had to create an array that had all the points I want to draw, then call that array to draw. Pretty interesting. Next one is our door. We're going to go draw rectangle. And inside this one, they want it at 150, 200, and a width of 50, and a height of 100. We have to give our door a color. Let's give it, what's a good color that goes with yellow, green kids? Stop and run and see if that works. Oh, we want to be a 250, not 200. Stop and run. And there's our little door. Finally, we have to put the window in. We have to do another draw rectangle. And for this one, they wanted it 220 and 180 on the system with a width and height of 50. What color do we want our window? How about blue like a regular window? So we are going to do a set fill color to blue. When I hit stop and run, our house should be complete. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Oh, I can see the spelling error right there. Spelled rectangle wrong. Stop and run. And that is our beautiful little house. Who wouldn't want to live there, kids? Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is further enforcing how to use this grid system. This lesson is just teaching you how to manipulate and move these objects into something recognizable. This time, it's a house. Again, I highly encourage you to play around with the different shapes and objects moving around the theater scene. Understanding how you can move them when you resize them really is key to being successful in the theater unit. I hope this video helped you understand how to manipulate objects in the theater. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye. Bye.